Here is your latest church news from Tradcat Night. In an interesting spin, if you will, Francis comes out today via mainstream media and rules out any possible retiring like his quote-unquote predecessor, Benedict the Sixteenth. Now, as many of you have been following Tradcat Night, we have documented this since the beginning. Pope Benedict the Sixteenth is your true pope. Francis is an anti-pope who will soon give way, step to the side, however you would like to say it, for the false prophet, whose name is Yeshua ben Joseph, who will formally unite all religions. He will be the supposed head of all quote-unquote Christian churches. Now this came out by the Associated Press today. Francis says he has no intention of quitting the papacy, a possibility opened up by his predecessor, uh, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. The Pope responding to a question, the quote-unquote Pope, from a young person at a Vatican event said on Sunday, I never thought of of quitting being Pope or of leaving because of the many responsibilities. Now, is that true? Let's stop right there. It is not true because in the summer of 2014, he came out uh, over a several week period and reiterated that this was more than a possibility, saying that he would be open to retirement uh, should his health not permit him to carry on with his duties, etc., etc., et stressing that papal retirement could be a norm for the future and for the church. Uh, referring to his quote-unquote predecessor, uh, I think that Benedict XVI is not a unique case. I think we sh- uh, should see him as an institution who opened a door for the door of emeritus popes. Will there be more papal resignations? God knows, but the door is open, said Francis. And again, this was in the summer of 2014. And ever since then, truly, this is one of the things I keep my eye on because he he is going to give way. There's no question about that. Uh, Pay attention to any trips to Argentina. I was told recently, for those who missed it on my YouTube channel, from someone from Argentina that it's now been pushed back meaning his, his supposed trip to Argentina, where he was going to bail out, now has been pushed back to 2017. Uh, not sure if that's uh, true or not, but nevertheless, the bottom line is, is Francis is an anti-pope. He's not the true pope of the Catholic Church. Even Cardinal Pell made an implication of this within the past year, and quite honestly, there are a growing number of us who feel this way, who see it that way, And I would highly suspect that a good number of cardinals would even see it that way. They're just waiting for the big, the big, uh, the big split. That's really what they're waiting for, the the big slip up. And then they know, um, you know, it'll be time to act again. We say these things ahead of the storm, but it is coming, ladies and gentlemen. But so Francis has previously said he envisioned a short papacy before going uh, to his father's house but he never specifically uh, ruled out following in Benedict's uh, footsteps, which is not true. Again, this is being reported by the Associated Press, and I just proved that wrong. Um, so he spoke at the Vatican gathering for the Scolas uh, Ocorrentaris uh, Global Educational Initiative that he launched, launched and uh, so it's a short and sweet piece here. But again, I want everyone to stay on top of this. You know, should we be, be believing this nonsense? I mean, did anyone really believe who studied uh, the, the the real third secret of Fatima that Benedict the Sixteenth came out and said it's been fully revealed? Come on, this is nonsense. We know it's nonsense. He's been on record as saying it hasn't been revealed. Uh, Father Kramer did a good piece this week, which I reblogged from Facebook. We know Cardinal Chiappi, uh, Ottaviani, Odi, Father Malachi Martin, those who read it, knew and came out and blurted the whistle. So again, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I need your help in terms of the financial assistance so we can keep getting this information out there, keep spreading this, keep, uh, keep 
spreading word of Trad Cat Night. Tell your friends to subscribe to Trad Cat Night. Make sure you hit that subscribe but button. Visit Trad Cat Night on a daily basis for all of the latest uh, end time news, church news. Um, and again, if you can, please make a financial contribution. For those who want to send cash, check, or money order, please uh, send me a message to Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com so I can send you the mailing address. But this is an information war, and time is running more short. We're trying to reach as many as we can before that first domino goes off in the world. Do not believe hardly anything that's coming out of the Vatican at this point. It is run by the Masons and Marxists and Modernists. They are not Catholic. And one day that third secret of Fatima will be truly revealed. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.